Hey guys, it's A Lot of Life with Joel. And today I thought I would just kind of do a little update on what, what's been going on with me diabetes wise. Uh, and also uh, a little bit later we'll do an unboxing. Uh, so anyway, what's been going on with me? Well, as you can see, this course this was a while ago, but wearing my Beat the Bridge shirt. Uh, back in, not too long after I got diagnosed, I started looking for different kinds of runs or fundraisers um, to help support diabetes. and I guess in May, each May, they do uh, Beat the Bridge to Beat Diabetes, uh, sponsored by Nordstrom's. It's here in Seattle. Um, it's kind of cool. You finish in Husky Stadium, so it's pretty neat. Um, and it, um, I guess the whole thing is, is that there's a bridge that uh, typically lifts up to let boat traffic come through. And uh, so you got to race to get across the bridge before they raise it up. So that's kind of a, a fun little uh, component to it, but uh, so anyway, I figured I would bring out the shirt today, um, kind of in honor of upcoming uh, Diabetes Awareness Month, I believe is November, so that's just around the corner. Uh, also tomorrow, I will be attending Type One Nation Summit uh, here in um, here in the Seattle area in Redmond at the Microsoft campus. It's a one day sort of conference, um, meet up with other Type One diabetics. And uh, also there's going to be panels or discussions um, and presentations on sort of uh, new cutting edge research um, and then just sort of, you know, daily managing of diabetes. So that'll be kind of cool. Um, another thing I did uh, last Friday, a week ago, was I went to my first sort of type one meetup, which was kind of fun. Uh, we met at a bar, like pretty good turnout, like 15 people showed up. So that was kind of cool to talk to other diabetics. It's the first time I've, I've been able to do that since I got diagnosed back in, in April. So anyway, that's kind of, and oh, and then uh, my pump, obviously I've been using that for about two, almost two months now and I'm loving it. Uh, it's been working really great. Um, I love not having to do the multiple injections and stuff. Um, and uh, you know, there was a few, a few weeks there where the numbers were kind of weird with it, but uh, um, I think so far it's been doing it's been doing really well, so I'm kind of uh, happy. And I just got my last A1C here a few weeks ago, um, and which was half injections, half on the pump, and it was a 6.3. So that was better than I was uh, expecting. So that was pretty, pretty cool. So anyway, I don't want to keep you guys waiting too much longer. So let's get to it. Uh, here we go. Here's the well. Okay, I guess I didn't really. Uh, say it, but I guess the title of the video uh, kind of gives it away. Uh, my CGM appeal was approved, so that was the other big news that happened. So anyway, I finally, um, they finally sent it to me. I've got the box here. So uh, anyway, to get back to what we were talking about, let's do an unboxing. All right, I'll see you guys in a few seconds. All right, here we are, guys. Here's the box that it came in from my medical supplier. So let's, uh, let's rip it open and see what we got. Just that a little bit. And then we got some packing material. All right, the first thing we have. Uh, oh, here's the two transmitters. There we go. Dexcom G5. Awesome. Oh, and here is the receiver. Here's the box. Pop it open real quick. Let's see what we got. Nice little getting started thing. Oh, there it is, guys. So I got the receiver for now. Um, I've got an iPhone 7 on order. And um, so it's my goal to eventually use the iPhone 7 as my receiver. Uh, and I also purchased um, an Apple Watch. That's also should be coming hopefully by mid to late November. Uh, I think both of them are coming around the same time. So the goal is that I'll be able to use the iPhone as the receiver and then send that data to my watch so I won't have to 
so I'll be able to just check it right on my watch. So anyway, what do we got here? This is the okay. This is the actual um, sensor that goes that goes uh, on your skin or in your skin. So there's a box of that. Um, well, looks like I just have probably three boxes of those. Yep, so three boxes of those. And that's all that's in there. But let's dig into this. Let's take a look at the... Um, since I'll be using this receiver for a little while, let's dig into... Oh, it's actually pretty small. I don't know if you can see. Pretty decent. So the big thing is that even when I get the um, even when I get the iPhone, um, when I go for a run, uh, I I got the the seven plus, so it's big. So I'll probably still take this with me uh, when I go for a run, until eventually, um, you know, my ultimate goal is when Tandem uh, upgrades my T Slim to the T Slim X two then some point next year, the pump will get an update to integrate directly with the, the Dexcom G5. So the ultimate goal is just have direct integration with the pump that's always on me. Um, though, you know, there you don't get the, the ease of access. Um, I know a lot of ladies have an issue uh, because they've got, they've got their, um, their pumps in their bra or in their shirt or something. It's hard to end in dress, it's hard to get to. So checking the information on the pump is difficult. For me, it's just in my pocket. It's really not that difficult to get to if I need to. But So we have our charging cable. We have our charger. Uh, let's see. We've got a little quick start guide. And it looks like, I think this is a little, I don't know what this little card is if you see this here. It says push up. I wonder if it's actually like a little um, USB drive or something. It's pretty thin though. Uh, well, let's open it up and find out, huh? Let's see if I can get the plastic off. Yeah, look at that. I think it looks like you push this up and it anyway looks like it's a USB little USB card so that's pretty cool um, I wonder if this has power to it uh, looks like that's just a cover for the for the USB port I don't know if you can see that. There we go. There's just a little cover that slides there. I'm not sure if you maybe just hold. Oh, there we go. Push the center button and it vibrated. So it must have uh, must have come on or something. There it goes. Let me get it in center frame. There we go. Oh, well, anyway, guess I should set the time and everything, so I will close it out there, but that is the unboxing. We got the receiver. We've got, uh, we got our transmitters, and we got our sensors. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you do, uh, give it a like. If you have any questions or comments, uh, leave it in the comment section, and I will see you guys later. Bye.